You are tuned to ARP on the Accelerated Radio Network. It's 12 noon, and it's time to have lunch. Lunch with the Finance Bunch. Lunch with the Finance Bunch. Lunch with the Finance Bunch. Bringing money talk you can understand. And now here's your host, Miss Charlene. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Miss Charlene, and you're having lunch with the Finance Bunch. Today in our studio, we have CB Free LA. Yay! Yay. How you guys doing? Really good. That's good. That's good. Now, today, you guys have been here before, and I wanted you to come back again because what I found interesting about your company is that you have an umbrella company, which is CB Free LA, and then under that, you have all of these small businesses that were started based on the gifts and talents of the artists that are signed to your label, and I just think that's awesome. So I wanted you all to be here today so that you'd have a chance to kind of give us an overview of what businesses are underneath the umbrella and what you do as owners to help that all get taken care of. So I guess the first thing I'd like to do is introduce everyone. So I'd like for you actually to introduce yourselves. So we'll start with Miss Beverly. Hello, hello, hello. I am Prophet Beverly Paul, and I am the CEO of CB Free LA. Hello, everyone. I'm Asha Paul, and I'm the Vice President of CB Free LA. Hello, everyone. I'm Dwayne. I'm uh, the Chief of Operations for CB Free LA. Wonderful. Now, as Chief of Operations for CB Free LA, what does that job entail, Dwayne? It entails um, transportation, security, um, overlook of all the artists, the leadership. Um, it also dabbles into just different paperwork and things of that sort, just keeping everything together, making sure that CB Free LA is protected and gets to where they need to go. Great. And Miss Beverly. Yes, hello. Now, you being the CEO of the company, you have the awesome responsibility of really being um, – overseeing all of these young people that are under CB Free LA. Yes. And as a part of that responsibility, what do you see as your main job? Well, my main job is basically um, grooming them to run a company. Um, It's really fine and dandy to know that there's a company in you, but recognizing what it is and also gearing your... your, um, your whole mindset and heart set towards it and knowing that um, there are going to be certain times that when is something that is what when is something that is set in your path there are times that you will not want to do it because you don't think it's going to um, I'd say adhere to how you're feeling at that time right. or um, thinking that because it's yours that it's all about you. Um, it's just getting their mindset in a place where you're not here for yourself, you're for others. And what you have that God is giving you, mm-hmm. um, that you're now grooming into, it is always dealing with community. I agree. Your with company that. is community. I agree. And you with have that. to know that you're for the other, you're for others before you start looking into it for yourself. You have to get that mindset. Right. Get out of yourself. That's right. Because although it is personal because it's your passion, it's not personal because it's really to be shared with others. Exactly. I like that. Miss Asha. Hello, Miss Charlene. Hi. And what is your what part do you play in the company as vice president? Um, Just making sure that everything the CEO is setting in place, that vision is still being continued um, in different areas. And then also to being under, um, well, collaborating with the chief of operations, making sure that everything is running smoothly in its individual areas, but making sure that everything is still moving as a unit. So just really playing that role of leadership and just making sure the vision is still in the right direction. Right. Now, like with any company that started, especially one that provides support to entertainers, there has to be some type of corporate culture that you nurture. And so what is your corporate culture? get that one (laughs) yes I'll Um, piggyback after you're done (laughs) well corporate culture is like I said before just making sure everything is is unified make as far as the mindset making sure everyone is in on the same page um, make sure everyone is in the same direction even though our businesses are different uh, they still collab together but making sure that um, 
we come together, we dis- discuss things, making sure that everything is set in place. So as it starts to grow even more, we don't lose sight of that that corporation, that unit, making sure that even when we start to grow and we set other people in place, they have an understanding of how we operate and making sure that they keep that culture and keep that community within those businesses. It's setting a prototype. Exactly. Setting a prototype mm-hmm. for ones to follow. Okay. Setting a proto- prototype for the ones that they go after and um, frame that prototype. So mm-hmm. you have a vision, you have a picture of where you're headed. Um, a company without a vision fails. And even though you have that vision, you still have to, like I said before, last time I was here, find out who's a mechanic. Who's riding the bus? That's right. Who's on the bus? Who's painting the bus? Who's driving the bus? And who's driving the bus? Everything that goes along with a company falls under a unit. So how we look at it now, based on um, keeping yourself grounded inside, God inside minded, keeps you to walk in a place of unity, knowing that, that unity is not about entitlement. So teaching that first and foremost is the key that yes, you are who you are and you are whose you are based on what he's giving you and based on what he's giving you to share um, to the community and knowing that you won't put yourself in a place of, well, that's mine and this is what I do and this is how I do, even though the gifts are coming from you. Right, so you make it more of a community. Yes. It's a community, community that, that brings unity. Brings it's, it's, unity. It's cultivated in that right. culture. And that culture is the key. The culture, a culture is not necessarily um, the language that you speak or the uh, place that you come from or your birthright. Um, This type of culture is a culture that brings forth each person's talents and gift cultivated in that area, knowing that it is for someone else. And sometimes you come into a place where you have to get in a unit with each other to drive that other person. So once you know that you're pushing this one forth, they in turn push you. Right. So it's, it's, it's keeping that uh, cul-de-sac going. Right. And you know, it's like, I always tell you, you're like the modern day Motown. And I don't know what other companies are doing this, but I think that based on the way your artists look and the way they, you know, compose themselves and the way they share information, you can tell they've been groomed. And so a lot of companies, you know, you see their artists and you think, wow, you know, I wish someone would have talked to that young man or that young lady because maybe they wouldn't have said that or done that or responded in that way or dressed the way they did or, you know, bringing unnecessary negative you know, attention to themselves. And so what you do by grooming your artists is that you give them an opportunity for their gifts and talents to show versus whatever they're fighting or whatever, you know, things that are not about them that may not be as attractive (coughs) as you would want them to be. So you groom the good and you help them polish the things that need to be polished. And I applaud you for that. Excellent. That is so true because the fact of the matter is even though they may sound like each other, they don't sound like each other. Right. So it's about not just grooming them to mimic, right. but grooming them to also know that what you're doing and what you're saying is is a God inside mind that comes from you. Right. It may you you have a it may fashion after someone, mm-hmm. but that someone is only there to push you into your someone. Right. And because you, know? you see the individuality, everyone has. Exactly. And they're confident in that individuality, but it's a great blend. So it's, it makes for a really nice Thank and you. successful community. I like that. Another question I have for you, Asha, since um, you are vice president of the company, um, the vice president and the CEO, you have to see eye to eye a lot of times and support each other in the decisions that are made. And so, um, and I know this myself because I see the complementing of the two. And so how do you, when you get into a conversation with the CEO of the company and you guys might have different vision of what should happen, what do you guys do in a case like that? Um, A case like that is actually very rare. Uh Um, I I guess given because it's mother and (laughs) daughter. 
our perspectives of how we interpret things sometimes are different, but I believe it complements because of the fact that how I see things creatively and then being an artist, but also um, the CEO being creative, but in a different type of way, I believe it comes together. So even when we sit down and discuss certain things that we want to do, whether it be an event or something we want to plan as far as um, adding something to the artist development program, it just works together. Um, it goes hand in hand. So necessarily, sometimes when we may sit down and I'll be like, oh, I don't really... I don't know if I really understand where you're coming from, but she will explain it, and then where I give my piece on it, it just kind of organically just comes together. together. Is mm -hmm. the but communication, communication is, is definitely is very the key. important. It's the key. It's right. about being quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. So yes. really allowing the person to first speak, and this is what I teach them to. Right. It's not about getting your point across. Your it's point will listening. cross if you try to put your point across. That's very true. It's about you now getting what you're stating to um, fuel the vision or come in to add to, to color it. So speaking what you're speaking, I don't disregard it yes. because it's always for what we're doing. I just tell them, make sure it's the timing. Right. Your timing, timing has is to be everything. right. That's right. That sounds good. Love mm -hmm. it. Write that down. Write it all down. Keep it in order. And you will know as you walk in a place of knowing the order of how it's done mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by being led into that, you will know that that's not the time for that. Because things that come in before it's time, it's so temporal. And then you get that's disappointed. True. So guarding your heart is not pushing it forward first yeah. before you actually have that time to look over everything to see if it really fits at that time that's true and it's not that it doesn't fit it is does it fit at that time so time is exactly. everything exactly and Dwayne well, you I marvel at you um <laughs> I'm gonna let you say what you're gonna say but I just want to get this out. I marvel at you because how you get all these people in one room at the same time is amazing <laughs> to me especially since a lot of them are women at it. yes and you do it with such grace and ease I have to on the air compliment you for that because Thank it you. can't be easy um if I did it myself it, it wouldn't be Right. But okay, it's not so, me. It's, okay. it's all the Lord. He has graced me to no, have the patience and understanding. Don't get it twisted. He has his army moment. Help I move. was going to say, you were in the military. <laughs> yes. Um, so does that help? Yes, it does. Okay. Because? Because if I didn't have the discipline myself, it would be hard right. to help those who don't have discipline mm -hmm. gain that understanding of how discipline works. But to piggyback on what, what everybody was saying, Prophet Beverly and yourself, mm -hmm. about the understanding and communication that quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger part really comes in by prayer as well. Probably always tell us, whatever we're coming up with, slow down. Instead of being quick to move and all that stuff, take it to God first. Pray right. about it, and then you get the clarity on when to do it and how to do it. And that's why the, the riffraff never happens, really. That's great. because And that's why your company is so successful, and I just see it rising. Yes. Um, strong, and you, know, you see, see some that. companies... As they rise, they start to fall apart because they don't have that culture. They don't have that foundation. And that's why I asked you about that, because it's really important to know that when you're going into any business, the, di the discipline has to be there. In addition to the discipline, you have to be in sync with each other. Partnerships work because people are in sync with each other and they respect what each other say and they respect each other's gifts and talents. And no that man is, is an island. You have to partner with people to be successful. And just because you are what may be seen as the front runner or, or the star of that event does not mean that all of the supporting people aren't as important as you because they are. Because the head works better because it has a neck. You know, yeah. the body can walk forward because it has legs and arms. So, and without exactly. any peace, it's, it's a mismatch and it won't be successful. So I'm just excited about seeing what you guys do as the future and what the future has to hold for you because the, the blueprint of your plan is successful mm -hmm. and the blueprint of your plan mm -hmm. will hold the pieces together and you'll just all rise together and I love what you're doing and I'm excited to talk to your artists today because yes. I want to hear about every single yes, piece yes. of the business yes, because yes, this is yes, great yes. I told you guys before we went on air I could come in with my hair standing all over my head <laughs> you know looking crazy and come through you know your company and I'd come out with my hair and makeup perfect my outfit 
outfit perfect. I know how to speak. I know how to sit. I know to cross <laughs> my legs at my ankles. Everything that you're supposed to do and be as a successful artist, you're learning within this corporation. I really wanted to get that point across. One thing I wanted to mention, not only is he CEO, COO of the company, but he also keeps them fit. He has a program along with his other partner that is also within this company. Um, he just, um, work schedule doesn't allow him to be here, but it's called ECT. And this program on a Monday and Tuesday, they get to, he gets them together and he vigorously works them out. So there's fitness, Makes nutrition. This is his company. Yes. That's Recording. his company. Wow, and what's the name of your company? ECT. ECT. Yes. And it's, what does ECT stand for? Echo Combatives Training. Okay. And what it's, does that it's, mean? It's building you up from the inside out. Wow. I like it. That's wonderful. So that's the part I didn't know about. So you have fitness, beauty, education, wardrobe. Um, you have people who record, who do the videos. You have everything in-house, and they're their own businesses. Yes. 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 Wow. So I want to get them in here to talk about their individual businesses this is great. I want to get them in here to talk about this business. So the next person we have coming in is Black. Yes. yes. And so we're going to talk to Black a little bit about the businesses that they have. Mm -hmm. 